Hey, stargazers! Welcome to Edisla. Choosing the right telescope mount can make or break your sky watching experience. In this video, we'll break down the alt azimuth, the equatorial, and why a Dobsonian mount might just be the perfect middle ground for beginners. Stick around, because by the end, you'll know exactly which mount is perfect for you and how to avoid the biggest mistakes beginners make. Let's get started! First up is the alt azimuth mount. This mount moves in two directions up and down, called altitude, and side to side, which we call azimuth. It's super easy to use, making it a favorite for beginners. To find an object in the sky, you just point the telescope where you want, up, down, left, or right. No need to overthink it. But there's a catch. Alt azimuth mounts don't track the sky's rotation very well, so as stars move, you'll have to keep adjusting manually. And there's another limitation. Alt as mounts can't point straight up at a 90 degree angle, meaning they struggle to view objects at the zenith, which is the highest point in the sky. That's important, because some of the clearest views are directly overhead. Still, most beginner telescopes, especially refractors, come with alt as mounts because they're simple, affordable, and perfect for basic sky watching. Now, let's talk about equatorial mounts. Unlike alt as mounts, equatorial mounts are specifically designed to track the movement of stars and planets as they travel across the night sky. They have a more sophisticated system that mirrors the Earth's rotation, making them ideal for astrophotography. To get an equatorial mount working properly, you first need to align it with the North Star, or the South Celestial Pole if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. Once aligned, the mount moves with the Earth's rotation, allowing you to track celestial objects smoothly along a single axis, instead of needing to adjust in two directions like an alt azimuth mount. But here's the thing, equatorial mounts can be tricky to master, especially for beginners. The initial setup involves aligning the mount with the Earth's poles, which requires patience and precision. On top of that, many basic equatorial mounts come with low-quality builds, which can make tracking less smooth and add to the frustration. Constant manual adjustments are often required to keep objects in view, which can be a hassle for those new to the hobby. If you're set on an equatorial mount, the best option is to go for a computerized model. These automatically track objects across the sky and save you from all the manual effort. However, they come with a significantly higher price tag. So, while EQ mounts offer precise tracking and convenience, they may not be the best choice for beginners, as they can feel overwhelming and the best EQ mounts might not fit into every budget. So, what's the middle ground for beginners who want simplicity without sacrificing too much functionality? For that, at Edisla, we highly recommend the Dobsonian mount. The Dobsonian mount operates similarly to an alt azimuth mount, moving in two directions, up and down and side to side. This makes it easy to use for beginners since you don't need to worry about complicated setups or tricky alignments. However, what sets Dobsonian mounts apart is that they offer smooth movement across the entire sky and allow you to point the telescope directly at the zenith. This is something many alt azimuth mounts struggle with, so Dobsonian mounts are excellent for viewing celestial objects that are high in the sky, where the atmosphere is clearest. Another big advantage of Dobsonian mounts is their stability. The base is wide and solid, which minimizes vibrations. This gives you a more stable viewing experience, especially when using larger telescopes. Despite this sturdiness, they are generally very affordable, especially the smaller tabletop models like Astra, which offer a compact, ultra-high quality optics and portable solution for backyard astronomy or even taking it on the go. These models are simple to set up and require very little maintenance, making them the perfect choice for those who want to spend more time observing and less time adjusting their equipment. So, to recap, if you're looking for simplicity, the alt azimuth mount is the way to go. Just keep in mind that it can't reach the zenith. If you're ready for a challenge and want to track celestial objects with greater precision, the equatorial mount is a solid choice. However, be prepared for a steep learning curve and consider investing in a higher quality model to enhance your experience. For the best of both worlds, you can't go wrong with a Dobsonian mount, offering stability and ease of use for beginners. Ultimately, the right mount depends on your interests, experience level, and budget. Whatever you choose, the most important part is to enjoy the experience of stargazing and the wonders of the universe. Thanks for watching, and Adizla wishes you clear skies!